when it comes to keeping tabs on your system during gaming or benchmarking overclocks and those kind of things, there's a few things you can actually do to keep tabs on that system. Number one, you could have an obnoxious overlay in bright pink or orange or something like that to keep an eye on your system, which might be good on keeping an eye on it, but it breaks the gaming immersion completely. Or you could go ahead and add a second monitor to your system to go ahead and have that in a separate window, but that can also do add strains on the resources within your system. Well, today MSI has an actual answer to us in form of your smartphone. Hey guys, Supermodder here, back with another video, and well, MSI has had an app out for a while for their MSI Afterburner. Now, this has been out since around 2013, and surprisingly, not exactly all of us know it, but they have started to make a bit of a push in the marketing space for their application. So today, we're going to take a quick look and basically set it up and show you guys how it actually works. So the idea of this app is basically to take all the monitoring that you would have on your MSI Afterburner window and put it right on your phone, tablet, or other device. Now, this works with basically every version of Android, like literally every version, and just about every version of iOS. Doesn't matter whether it's on an iPad or a iPhone. And same thing on the Android side, doesn't matter if it's an Android-based laptop, notebook, or well, even Android tablet or phone, it will just work and it's actually not half that bad. Now to set it up, all you need to do is download the server client, MSI Afterburner, as well as the MSI Afterburner app on your choice of uh, smartphone or tablet. Once that's all installed and you're already good there, open up MSI Afterburner and install that as you open up the server client that you download and install that as well and then go ahead and open up the app on the phone. Once everything's all installed and all well and good we're going to open up those apps again and make sure everything's running. Once we've done that we can go down to the icon tray if you're running Windows. I'm not exactly sure it works on Mac yet but if we're running Windows we're going to go down to the icon tray and hover over the little server and find the IP address. Now can't exactly give you my IP address but you should find yours. Now I use the bottom IP address but I don't believe they matter either way. Just make sure you punch in one of them. Jump to the settings on your actual phone and then jump into the IP address, go ahead and punch in the one of your system and you're basically all set up. There's not really that much to do and overall you're ready to go. So what exactly can you do with this application now that it's installed? Well first off you can have like what's on this screen and sort of like a whole list of specifications of your system and basically what exactly they're doing, whether it be the CPU and what temperatures they're at and the core and the load or the GPU, your voltages and those kind of things and well everything's just there. That's basically how I found out that my video cards were playing up in a previous video that will be either in this little card annotation thing or linked down below. So basically what else can you actually do with it? Well I found many other uses for this application apart from overclocking my system on the fly and monitoring it on the go. If you're like me and run sort of a ghetto DIY server that runs Windows, chances are you can install MSI Afterburner and use it as sort of a remote sort of well diagnostics kind of thing. If you occasionally have server issues whether it'll be overheating or just want to know exactly what your server's doing and you're within that local network then and installing this application and putting the server in is actually a really good idea. Now there is a few sort of downsides to using this. Downside number one is you're sort of limited to your device's battery. Yes, you can sort of run it on charge, but it's probably not the best thing to do and overall it's better off just to have another window if you're really serious about monitoring. But number two is you have to be on the same network. So for example, you can't set up your gaming rig at home and have that monitoring and then go to work or school or something like that and pull up your monitoring tab on your phone. It just won't work like that and needs to be on the same network. Though with that being said, chances are you can probably port forward and do a bunch of things and basically work but either way it's more best to just use it locally and overall that's basically how I use it and it's not actually half that bad. In terms of the Android side I personally would like to see MSI Afterburner sort of be updated to more of the lollipop thing I believe it's sort of got the uh, honeycomb kind of skin on it so yeah it's okay but you know it does what it does and it isn't really going to do anything much more. So overall those are sort of the uses that I found for it and overall it's not half that bad app. It doesn't really crash all the time and overall delivers what you need and overclocking on the fly is really really cool and even if you're just in game and want to change your fan speed maybe it's too loud or not high enough or something like that you can easily do that on the fly and it saved me many blue screens and crashes on games that just don't like to be alt tabbed so with that being said guys like or dislike the video accordingly let me know if you found some other use for this application let me know too if you never heard of it before because quite frankly I never even knew about it until MSI Afterburner page actually got updated so that's pretty cool also to give us a sub if you like what we're doing and want to see more videos just like this and I'll see you guys next time for another video.